today. A little surf session with the boys. Goal for today. Oh throw a 360 and land it. Cause we've been able to throw some 360s but never been able to land it. So we just keep spinning. We got this new, oh Jack, you're just getting water everywhere in the boat. We're teaching Jack a thing or two about a uh, younger, younger kid brother here about boating. He's doing a good job. So he's on all labor duty today. Next time you just wipe it off with a towel. Hey, Chief, let's do it. I will be the captain of this ship, yes. This is my vessel. Is that my Dracula or is that like an African accent? I don't know. I'm the captain now. How are you guys? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, do you know how, I don't, I have no idea how to do that. You good? Okay. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you rock and roll that. <laughs> I have no idea how to work that. Never had a tow in. We got a tow in. It's a serious situation. Just overheated, huh? Yeah. Going got tough. I let the expert handle it. Garrett's kind of, uh, he's driven probably, how many hours of driving do you think you have? It gets all a couple hundred. A couple hundred? I'm at about 12. <laughs> 12 hours. I don't even know if I'd be 12 hours. What do you think, Alec? How many hours am I at? With me at least, probably like seven since I've been here. Yeah, so I'm about so 12. You, yeah, you'd be about 12. Garrett, did ever have to do this? Lots of times, actually. Really? <laughs> Go Lake Powell enough. Oh yeah, I can see this happening at Lake Powell quite a bit. Hey hobbies, you worried? You worried about those people? Guess what? You gotta get out of the sun. French Bulldogs burn way too easy. Guess what? I'm gonna make them a little bed right here. I'm gonna be dad of the year. A little bed, I'm gonna get them some water. I'm just gonna curl up here in the shade. Because French Bulldogs overheat way too easy. Come here, oh look at you. Look at you, man. Oh, looky there, huh? That's your spot. That's your spot, Bubba. Were you worried about that boat? They couldn't, they couldn't move, huh? You had to go save them. Your dad's kind of a superhero. Oh, me a superhero. <laughs> Other people might call me a superhero. <laughs> We're towing some people in. I'm glad Garrett was here because he's the one that is uh, actually doing all the work. So <laughs> never fun when uh, all of a sudden your boat starts overheating like these people. Pops, are you overheating? Are you doing okay? You look so concerned. Are you so concerned about what's going on here today? Be macho. Centurion, I reached out. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> <laughs> I flex, but you know, I don't look like Steve, so I can't do that. <laughs> First attempt. Ready? Yep. On this side. Go swing around. Put <laughs> down. Got any advice for the young pup? Be an athlete. And sadly, he's the least athletic one in the family. Which is still a compliment because it's a very athletic family. Love you, Jack. Bet up, bet up, bet up. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, buddy. Yep. Honestly, we can teach anyone how to surf on that board. That board is the Cadillac of boards. If Jack can do it, you can do it. Thank you, Brigade. Yeah, buddy. Shred it. 
in the door! Whoa! Witness. I'm proud of him, man. Let go of the rope, rode for a little bit, and it's like taking off the training wheels, right? It's a big moment. I'm like a, I'm a proud older brother right now. Hobbs, your turn, bud. Okay, <laughs> okay, bud. Oh no, you stay there. I was just calling you. It's very. You're off the boat, bud. <laughs> so scared. First surf interview. How'd you go, Jack? It's pretty good. Shredding out there, man. Was that first time? Nah. Uh, Oh no, this is my first time letting go of the rope. Right. I like so it. Keep it. It's right now. Yeah. Watch him, Hobbs. Hold it tight. Oh, this Make sure he's surfing. And then yeah. Enjoying it? Go! Oh, no! You, you did it, you did it. Oi, oi, oi. Where's that? Where's that? Did you just put hogs in the water? <laughs> he hated it. You're okay. I think, I think we're good, are we good? I think so, does it? I have to get off the boat with hops in my arms for it to be 100% successful. What do you think, bro? You can make that jump? No, you're in the back. You're in the back. What a time be to alive. be alive. Man, what a time. next time nothing uh, caps off a good day at the lake like oh, chick-fil-a so dude, we just had this big discussion about pigs because I usually get bacon on my chick-fil-a sandwich but pigs are actually smarter than dogs according to Google and every other website I checked I didn't believe Alec I thought it was vegan propaganda but it seems to be true that they're the fifth smartest animal out there behind dolphins chimps elephants and Jack. Jack was the fourth smartest animal. Good job, Woo! bud. Um, so, well, yeah, we're gonna go through. I left Ed off the bacon for my chicken sandwich just for Darren didn't know. He was like, I added extra it. bacon. <laughs> <laughs> now I kind of want a pet, pet pig. Can you imagine if I had a pet pig in Hobbs? Like, oh, they would man. battle. They, they would have make the same snap. The they, they would have the most epic battles, yeah, but I feel like they'd they be best friends at the end of the day. Oh. If I got like a little fat girl pig that Hobbs just loved, they would be mucking around. They, they might also do something else besides muck that snaps. rhymes with muck. Ah, ah. Piggies. Little piggies. All right. I'm also trying this lemonade, this diet lemonade frosted thing that is supposed to be amazing. So we're going to see how it goes. What's the order for Steve? Yep. Uh, can I go? Thank you. Thank you. Wait, do you have a dog treat? A what? A dog treat for a dog? Are you stupid or something? A dog? A dog treat? Like a... <laughs> a pig treat. I wasn't asking if you guys had dogs. I know you guys did. <laughs> Thank you. Hobbies, dad loves you. Diet, frosty. I think it has 230 calories still. So I was hoping it had like 70 calories. But there's no way something with 70 calories would taste that good. So I looked it up and it has 230. But it's not stopping me from drinking it right now. Summer shred, what? A 10, I give it probably an eight. Oh, that's pretty good. It's good, mate. The peach one I'm sure is amazing, but they don't have a diet peach one. So maybe one day on my cheat day. You made it, you probably gotta go potty. Go see how the YouTube video is doing today. 16,000 views in the first three hours, not too bad. Top comment. Baker, how many effects do you want? Steve, all of them. Oh, second comment's the exact same. Baker, how many effects do you want? Steve, 
Yes. Comments. You are. People are actually absolutely loving the new effects. Makes me so happy. Effects make you that happy? I like it. It'd be amazing to win a watch. I've always wanted one. Love you, Steve. That kind of hit me in the feels. Like, I've always wanted a watch. Like, if you've always wanted a watch and you don't have one, the scuba, the scuba Steve part was hilarious. I love it when Steve keeps it real and talks from the heart about what's going on with him. Aw, Jose? Jose Gomez? You're my boy, Blue! Comment below to win. Yeah, I did say that. Your house is pretty sweet. Can't deny that. <laughs> Should we do actually a home tour? Videos nev never disappoint. Scuba Steve, damn you. Yes, sir, the creative director thought of that one. Yo, how good of an older brother I am. My younger brother, Jack, are you leaving? You don't wanna get burned? I'm just gonna say it, the moron drives around a cool Harley. Is it a Harley? I don't know how this is a thing. He didn't grow up, you grew up riding dirt bikes. Yeah. But doesn't have a helmet. Literally does not drive around with a helmet. But I'm concerned about him so much, I'm giving him access. I'm allowing him to use my favorite motorcycle jacket. I don't have a motorcycle, but I have a motorcycle jacket. Because I wanted a more. I had a motorcycle for a minute. Um, but here's the rule. If anything happens to him, I get my jacket back. No, I'm kidding. If anything happens to you, Jack, and you're not wearing a helmet, I'm not, I'm not coming to your funeral and I'm not taking care of you. You guys heard it here first. That might be me, yeah. but it's something called tough love, okay? Get used to it, millennials. Soft ass generation, okay? It's called tough love. Get your ass in here and put on this jacket. Huh? You wanna go night night? You wanna go night night, Jack? <laughs> you have to go night. What? Jack, honestly, I'm the coolest brother you've ever had. Well, Jack, yeah, Jack, since he's, he's a halfsy, he's half my brother, he's a half brother, my mom, and we share the same mom, but his, so he has two other half brothers on his dad's side, and then my older brother and me, which I definitely take care of Jack the most. Jack's like Hobbs. I wipe Hobbs' ass, and then I wipe Jack's ass, metaphorically speaking. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Does anyone know that's yeah. wrong? Uh, it's Jim Carrey. Yes. The mask. But what, Good job, the mask. Oh. This is what we, I, I, we sit around and I... great games. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Beer him right now. My dog is a gremlin. He's literally a combination of a hippo, a bat, and a pig. Um, Damn, it's been a day. It's been so good though, because we're getting all organized and I'm like, for the first time, really excited about like vlogging and hopefully we'll start getting excited about working out again because I went tonight and I had all these other things in my mind, so. But look at the counter right now. Like, we got the Sony point and shoot, which I filmed on. This bad boy had a lot of good videos. This was me all over the world. Hey guys, Steve Cook here. Seen better days, so I'm gonna probably give it to my niece. She's an aspiring vlogger. And then I upgraded to this GH5 Panasonic. This thing is heavy as, mate. And so I got this big old Gorillapod thing for it. And we shoot on Sony's, which means it's just nothing, nothing kind of like crosses over. The lenses don't, um, even like editing, don't. yeah, batteries. So I'm gonna be selling this, the GH5, the body, the two lenses, and it's batteries. this microphone, the batteries and we're gonna be upgrading to the A6500. So that'll be the everyday vlog video. And then we'll have the Sony A7R3 to shoot B-roll on with different lenses. So the reason we're doing this is because we're really gonna be stepping, stepping up our game. Monday, Swolger Nation. Yeah, we're getting it called, we're just calling them Swolger Nation Training Editions, getting back to that. Um, Thursdays, fun vlogs, just doing fun stuff like you guys are watching now. And then Sunday, we're doing just a one take. So last week you guys saw the start of the series 22 Things Happy People Do Differently. Sunday, in three days from now, well, Friday, Saturday, two days from now, will be episode number two. So each day of the week is kind of something a little bit different. This is the plan we've come up with, our master plan. What do you think, Baker? To just take a, take a look at this guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Vegan power! <laughs> Dude, what are people gonna say when like they're like, oh, this guy's trying to be the next Benny with his facial hair? <laughs> he 
He's a long way to go. Uh, I got a long way to go. All right, one day we're going to challenge Benny and Yoon to a workout competition. People in front of the camera and people behind the camera. Teams. So, Baker, you better oh, step that shit up. We are competitive. They seem like they're competitive too, which they are could be interesting. All I know is this is going to be a good setup. Great setup. Ready for it? Okay. Well, next time you see me, I will be on a different camera talking to you guys. Till next time. Later.